So Tom Holland officially confirmed that Spider-Man 4 is happening. I mean, we kind of already knew it was happening, but it's pretty nice that he officially came out and confirmed it. Uh, there is some chatter that Spider-Man 4 is happening and that you'll be back as Spider-Man. Can we confirm this tonight? <laughs> it's happening. Yes! And knowing how big mouth Tom Holland is about, you know, spoilers and stuff, I was kind of hoping he would give us a little bit more information. However, it was still pretty cool to get that confirmation. Now, the next question is, though, what is going to be the next villain for Spider-Man? Now, I have, in my mind, there's three options. But just to quickly recap, we last saw Tom Holland Spider-Man uh, at the end of No Way Home, swinging through New York. He has a you know, cloth suit. He's back to basics. He's living in a crappy little apartment. Uh, Rio was yelling at Miles in one of the neighbor's houses. So a little bit, a little bit of conspiracy there. And he no longer has any friends. He's basically all by himself. Now, we also just did get the third Venom movie which I'm probably not going to see uh, after Let There Be Carnage and seeing the trailers for this movie. I'm just not not excited at all. Um, however, it seems in my mind pretty predictable. It's going to be heavily based off of, you know, the whole symbiote family kind of stuff. And uh, at the center of that is Noel. And if you're not familiar with Noel, uh, there's a lot of backstory to the character itself in the comic books. I'm not going to get into that. The way that they're going to interpret Noel in this series, I'm assuming, is more so heavily based on the fact that Noel basically created the symbiotes. And based off of, you know, how they're portraying the trailers and, you know, the title of the movie, it does seem like Venom is likely going to die in this movie. And I say die because uh, I don't think he's going to stay dead if he does, you know, probably sacrifice himself in some kind of way or s something like that. So, um... You know, and then backtracking to when he kind of multiverse traveled and left a piece of symbiote. I'm sure that's going to take a. Uh, I'm sure that's going to kind of come into play at some point. So I'm telling you all this because the main villain that people seem to be discussing is Noel. I like that as an option, but not for the first movie of this new trilogy because apparently we're getting a whole trilogy based off of this new iteration of spider-man so for it to be null seems too much too soon i think that they need to ground them a little bit more even though if there isn't many more plans to make more spider-man movies with tom holland Noel does seem like a very good option for a big epic clash and possibly seeing tom hardy with venom kind of come into play as well however i just don't think that's the case so while I do think Noel will play a big part in this new trilogy and I do think the symbiote, everything is going to come into play at some point, I don't think it's going to be in this very first movie. This first movie, I think, has to show us a more grounded, local, uh, less, what's the word? A little bit smaller stakes, I guess, um, as far as the first big villain. But I think that it needs to really show us a new perspective, a new like state of mind for Peter Parker in general and really focus on the fact that he's the neighborhood friendly Spider-Man. So another likely villain is Kingpin because Kingpin is very centered with the whole story of like the underground, uh, the underworld and you know the mob and you know a lot of political stuff going on in New York. And with uh, the new Daredevil series I can definitely see some kind of tie in there. We already saw uh, Matt Murdock in uh, No Way Home so that kind of I feel like that's a very easy, seamless transition between connecting, you know, Daredevil, throwing him in there for a cool cameo. But Fisk in general, you know, there's a lot of like mob ties and they can make it a very New york -y story, which I think that that should be the case. However, I really do hate the enforcers in the comic books and I can see that kind of maybe coming into play, possibly even seeing Tombstone in this movie that might be central around like, you know, crime in New York. Now, if we go back and kind of list all of the biggest Spider-Man villains or the more iconic Spider-Man villains, uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man has basically interacted with all of them. You know, you got Dr. Octopus, which he interacted from Tobey Maguire's, uh, you know, Spider-Man universe. We got the Lizard. We had Electro. Uh, we had Green Goblin already. He already faced Mysterio. I would say that Craven or Craven, however you want to say it, I say Craven. Now we can say that Craven could be a good option, and it probably would have been the number one option 
if he wasn't already getting a standalone movie that looks awful. Maybe even Mobius would have been good if he didn't already get a standalone movie that was also awful. Now the next big obvious one would also be Hobgoblin, you know, with Ned Leeds and whatnot, but I don't think that they're going to just throw that out there without some proper buildup. I think that Hobgoblin is going to be built up to be the biggest villain of the Spider-Man story with Tom Holland. If they do do a trilogy, I can definitely see Hobgoblin being the the third big antagonist of that series and I think it would be a really cool cul like culmination of storytelling and seeing like planting the seeds for that. So probably not for this one. The one that makes the most sense to me is the Chameleon. I know that the Chameleon isn't like the biggest Spider-Man villain and um, he is a pretty constant character in the comic books, but I think that they could do some really cool stuff. You know, Spider uh, Peter Parker just coming out of this whole big event with No Way Home, right after coming off of the big event of Infinity War and Endgame. Like, dude is kind of, you know, going through it psychologically. And Chameleon being there to kind of mess with him even further, you know, impersonating Spider-Man and kind of really getting into Peter Parker's head with it. I think that that story can be really well written and it'll kind of be a little bit more of a grounded villain that isn't too high stakes as they build up to something like Noel and like Hobgoblin. And in addition to that, I do think that Black Cat is going to be a prominent character in this series. You know, Toby already had the Mary Jane, um, you know, love story. Andrew Garfield had Gwen Stacy. And while Tom Holland did have the Zendaya, MJ kind of thing, you know, it was revealed that she wasn't Mary Jane. So I think it would make sense to just give Tom Holland a bit of a like love story angle with the black cat because honestly, I actually really like their relationship in the comic books. So I think that she can play an antagonistic role in this. And then at the end, they can maybe work together to stop the chameleon or something. And, you know, from there, just spark a relationship. So I can go on and on about Spider-Man theories. Um, it's one of my favorite topics. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what villains you want to see in the next Spider-Man movies with Tom Holland. I'm very excited. Hopefully we get it, you know, sometime between end of next year or early 2026. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.